Hello everyone and welcome back to SRB Gaming. Today, another episode of KSB. And I am actually investigating the Odysseus mod, which adds a new gas giant between Duna and Dress. Odysseus has a lot of moons, including an ice giant, which is basically a smaller gas giant as a moon, which has another moon. So there's a moon within a moon within a moon. A moon a moon within a moon within a planet that's orbiting the sun. Now um I am trying to work out an arrow breaking altitude here. This is a lander land on Telemachus. Telemachus? Telemachus, which is the closest planet to Odysseus. So I'm burning up. And uh, you might not be able to see my velocity, but basically Odysseus is in a retrograde orbit, which means it's moving opposite direction relative to Kerbin and all the other planets. So while when you go into Joule, you might have a relative velocity of 1.5 kilometers per second, you have a relative velocity of 12.5 kilometers per second here, because you've got your velocity, Kerbin's velocity, and then the velocity of Odysseus all add up. And uh, if you don't arrow break, you will never get into orbit. I tried that, and then I realized my fault. But anyway, here, um, and uh, the altitude, atmosphere altitude is about 138,000 meters, just like Joule, but a good arrow breaking altitude here is 95,000, and I did have to do some trial and error, but I did send another probe here to investigate this before my lander. So here we have a lander with my transfer stage. I used a 3.75 meter uh, tank with a Kerbodyne engine for the transfer because uh, I was really sick of the extremely slow nuclear engine times, and this thing actually worked pretty well. There I'm highlighting uh, Telemachus, that is the closest planet to Odysseus. There's Odysseus in the background. and. Uh, Telemachus, I uh, landed a probe there to measure the gravity. I actually crashed into it, but the gravity is about 4.5 meters per second squared. And I was not able to test for atmosphere, but I will be doing that on this lander. So there we go. Telemachus encounter. Going around to meet up with it. So it's about, that means that it's bigger than Duna, but there's no, but um, I didn't bring parachutes, so even if there was atmosphere, I wouldn't be able to really use it to its greatest effect. And there's a view of Telemachus. Very nice texture. Good job, Mon Creator. Again, this is the closest planet to the gas giant. The uh, second gas giant orbiting it is actually farther out. It's an ice giant, technically. I'm not even sure if that's physically possible to have a tiny ice giant orbiting a gas giant, but hey, this is a game. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. So we're getting a really close-up view of the surface. And as you can see, um, when you're farther out, there's the texture for Telemachus is different. Like, right now we're seeing the actual landing, but when you're farther out, you see uh, this cool picture. So I was wondering, is that because of an atmosphere, or is it just a texture the mod created? And since this is a mod, I couldn't, I had to investigate on my own, so I actually brought science instruments just to measure stuff like this, and there I jettisoned the transfer stage. Here we're using a tiny Rockamax engine on my modified ELU lander. It's a little bit different than the one I landed on ELU, but it's basically the same, and Got some science instruments on the side. Using the map as an estimate and burning. There we go. This tiny engine is actually quite powerful when you get it on small craft like this. We are coming down and a final burn. And uh, the high gravity made it a little bit difficult. Not as hard as Tylo, but there we go. Bounce down. Our four flashlights are doing their job well. So here we are, and I did uh, atmosphere measures, and there were no atmosphere. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you liked it, and credit to the mod creator. Excellent mod.